Okay, so the conductor pipe is in place, and now we can start to drill for the next casing section, the surface casing. The drill bit slowly cuts through the rock strata, which could be anything from a soft limestone to hard granite, the bit having been chosen accordingly. As the rock is cut, the small cuttings are pumped to the surface in the mud. The bit continues to drill deeper, pushed by the weight of the BHA and rotated by the top drive or rotary table. After around 2,000 feet, the drilling stops and drilling fluid is pumped through to clean up the hole. The drill string is then withdrawn from the well. The surface casing is now lowered into the hole one length at a time. The bottom length has a special shoe, known as a float shoe, fitted to assist with a cementing operation that is to follow. Once the casing string is centered in the well, a rubber plug, called the bottom plug, is inserted into the casing string and the cement is pumped in behind it. When the correct volume of cement has been pumped into the casing, a second plug, the top plug, is inserted and then the cement is displaced down the casing until the bottom plug reaches the float shoe. When it does, pressure builds up until the diaphragm in the plug bursts allowing the cement to flow through and into the annular space between the casing and the hole. The cement flows up and around the casing filling the annulus. It flows until the top plug hits the remainder of the bottom plug. As this plug doesn't have a diaphragm, pressure builds and the cement crew at the surface see the pressure rise as an indication to stop the pumps. The check valve in the float shoe prevents flowback of the cement once pumping is stopped. Once the cementing run is finished, the cement must be allowed to harden for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. Once the cement has set, a smaller drill bit is placed on the drill string and it is lowered into the surface casing until it reaches the plugs. The drilling restarts and the plugs, the cement, and the shoe are drilled through before the drill bit reaches the rock strata. Drilling now continues as before for a few more thousand feet until the setting depth of the next string of casing, the intermediate, is reached at which point the whole cementing process is repeated.